Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm actually going to be telling you guys why I think the newest Skyblock update is actually bad for the Pokefind Skyblock game itself. Like, how it works in the player's experiences, and how I think it could actually cause the game mode to die more, unless they obviously change something. But, so pretty much my first point, I'm just going to hop right into it. It's not like a normal video, like, oh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do gameplay or whatever. But I will have gameplay in the background, like I'm having right now. But, the... So I think the first point that, and the biggest point that'll make the um, game die is obviously the Pokemon limit. A lot of people hated it, a lot of people um, still do hate it, obviously. I don't like it, I lost over 500 Pokemon from it. But with the Pokemon limit, the problem was, the main problem with it was that right when they released Pokefine 2.0, I mean Pokefine Skyblock 2.0, they had an unlimited amount of Pokemon and they didn't even realize so with them not realizing, the players all got used to having an amount of Pokemon, and then all of a sudden they just removed them all. And since they removed them all, the players obviously got angry, but if they would have actually instead put a limit on it from when the game mode first came out, a lot less players would be mad. I mean, sure they still removed Rhydon gems, but not as many players as now would be mad because now all the players already got used to it but if they just um obviously had the limit from the start none of the players would have gotten mad really um another one is that pokefine tried to compensate with um tried to compensate like the update and make it more than just one thing by like giving or I mean starting to sell shiny eggs and honestly I don't think this was the best idea because it's like they're pretty much just trying to get another money making thing out of it and it's pretty much just all pay to win like because the shiny eggs are already 80 plus percent IVs so it's pretty much just making the server even more pay to win than it previously was and that'll, I mean, honestly, that makes me kind of annoyed, and, I mean, I get it that they do it, because it's, like, good marketing, but it makes me kind of annoyed that, that it's, like, they pretty much just try to, like, bribe players to not be angry. Especially with, also, they, um, had slash AH, which is pretty much the only thing they added, other than maybe, like, a few bug, fi bug fixes or something, but... I know a lot of players are needing that, but that's not going to compensate completely for the Pokemon being removed. And then, with the Pokemon being removed, they also added legendary ranks. Like, I, I understand this too, because it's even better marketing, but the ranks are totally pay to win. Like, I can understand why players would buy them, and I understand who buys them, but it's like Pokefine just pretty much gives legend ranks three times the amount of Pokemon as a normal player. Almost three times. It's ten less than three times the normal players. Because the legend ranks get 110 and normal players only get 40 um, Pokemon on their island. So they obviously get a lot less than they would like. I mean, the normal players get a lot less than they would if they had a rank. That's what I was trying to say. And then, another thing is, when they sent out the announcement, they said at the end of the announcement, I hope you enjoy the new update. It kind of sounds like mocking. Like, you're kind of like mocking them, like, ha, there's this update. And you guys are like, and we're pretty much fixing it. And we're pretty much fixing it. I mean, I just said the exact same thing. Twice in a row. And we're pretty much um, fixing the Geodudes, however they were. And they blamed it on the lag when, it, honestly, they said, oh, it's um, we're just trying to fix the lag and stuff so that players wouldn't really get mad because, I mean, if they blame it on the lag, it's like, oh, the players are just, players are like, oh, he, they're just trying to make the server less laggy. They're trying to make the server as fast as possible with no lag. Sure, there was a little bit of lag, but there was almost no lag. And 
there was a lot less lag with the Rhydon Gens, but they still removed the Rhydon Gens um, in favor of Geodudes, and they removed the Geodudes too because they were both too overpowered. Rhydon Gens and Geodudes are too overpowered. And they didn't want to state, oh, they're too overpowered because um, it's like players would just get mad and it'd be like, oh, well, if everyone has it, then that. But, and also since they, I forgot to mention this point before, but since they made the change for Pokemon in the middle of a, in the middle of a, um, ongoing Skyblock season, I guess you can call it, even though they don't do um, like, planned resets, I guess. But, so all these players on Island Top, like AH Panda here, 406,000. And the second player has 150,000. That's less than half. And the third top player is 35,000. Players might actually have a chance of catching up to these people, but now these people have all this money that they can... Like, I'm not trying to trash talk these players or anything, obviously. Obviously, I'm not trying to trash talk them or anything, but they have all this money so they can buy more Gravelers and more Geodude Evolutions, and they have better Geodudes that they already spent money on, so they can put those with their Rhydons, and when they do that, they can make more money faster. Instead, and normal players like me, well, kind of normal, I guess I'm a little bit ahead of everyone else on the server, or I mean in my server, but the other players won't have all the money to upgrade theirs, so they can't really catch up to the top players nearly as easily as the top players are, exp are expanding, because they got over, I think they got up to like 300,000 island level when the Geodude and the Pokemon limit got added, so they were already ahead of the game, plus they had a lot of money to buy go golems when needed, previously golems weren't even needed because Honestly, you could just spam down a ton of Geodudes, and they're a lot cheaper, but now they can just buy Golems with the Rhydons, and they'll have more luck, more speed, and they'll place more blocks, which will help them get a lot more money faster. I think I covered every topic I pretty much wanted to cover. That took a lot less time than I thought. I thought that was going to be a pretty long video. But I think those are, like, the main reasons, and it's, like... I feel like so many of these could have been avoided if they just released the limit right at the start of the season. I mean, they tried to release it, but they obviously failed to release it, but I said Paul like three times right there. Um, they tried to release it, and they kind of failed because with the release, they, they noticed months late, I mean not months, weeks late that the Pokemon limit wasn't added. Never got all settled into that, so everyone got mad when their Pokemon obviously got removed. And yeah, I think that's pretty much everything covered, so I guess I hope you guys enjoyed. If there's any Pokefind um, staff watching, I guess, tell, tell Danny. Tell Danny that he should um, play. He should. Honestly, I feel like this could be fixed um, even before the thing if they had like more... If they had more, like, bug testers for their world, I think they just use mods right now. But I feel like there should be so specific people that have tested a lot of bugs to be, like, a specific person in their world to test out everything that could go wrong before they release it. Instead of just releasing it, making updates later, and having more problems like there has been so many so far. Just fell on a pond. But, I hope you guys all enjoyed. I'll see you guys all next time. And that's pretty much it. Bye, guys.